Hello everybody and welcome back to another reaction video from Out On That Line and we've got a treat for you today! Silk Sonic, out of nowhere, released a brand new single and it's called Love's Train and I for one cannot wait to get into it. I know we've got a channel full of Silk Sonic appreciators. Our best performing videos were Live the BET Awards, Fly Is Me, our episode about Silk Sonic. You guys love Silk Sonic. I couldn't not do this one for your peace of mind as well as mine. Uh, what more can I say? Let's just get right into it. Waste no more time. This is Silk Sonic Loves Train. One, two. <laughs> Oh. Another, that's the way it goes on last train. You don't need no, you don't need no 
my God. Someone sedate me. They did it again. They did it again. I don't think a single one of us doubted them, but they did it again. Oh my God. So my first question, I have so many thoughts, I have so many questions. My first question is, did they record this as part of the initial uh, uh, sessions for an evening with Silk Sonic? I, I would love to know. I hope that they got back together because they couldn't stop making this kind of music and they just had another one coming out of them and they just ran into the studio and did this and that means that we're going to keep getting Silk Sonic drops here and there hopefully for the rest of our natural lives. I cannot impress upon you guys and I'm sure you know because you all again you all seem to be fans but I cannot impress upon you just how technically excellent this music is and you know me you know I'm not the biggest technical excellence guy. I like things a little loose around the edges. These guys are Steely Dan levels of studio perfectionism. The mix is absolutely perfect. Wouldn't change a thing. Their sound, they're not afraid to do little things differently each time that maybe you're not conscious of, but your brain sure is. There were, there's this, to give you an example, there's this set that dun 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 that's very similar to something that the Yacht Rock guys came up called came up with called the Doobies Bounce. The song What a Fool Believes. Dun 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 dun. It's that really driving bounce that it's way more consistent. It doesn't stand out as much with this song, but those moments where they stop singing and you can just hear that dun 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 dun. It's it's doobie bounce adjacent, and I think that's just in terms of a beat, that's that's the mark of quality. It's it's not just a driving, just boom, 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 boom. It swings, and when I say it swings, it's appropriately sexy for this song. You know what I mean? Like you wouldn't want it to be too prim and proper, and and to to follow too much of a pattern. It's got to move. It's got to kind of snake and stick and move and change as it goes. The whole song is doing that. It's it's a hard song to, no pun intended considering the subject matter, it's a hard song to get your hands around the very first time. I'm going to go listen to this about 9,000 other times after this. But it it keeps you guessing, but it doesn't deprive you of the parts that you love. And Bruno goddamn Mars... Swing for the fences, once again, pound for pound, one of the most talented male vocalists, I may even say the most talented male vocalist, that we have the privilege to listen to right here and now. Oh, and then, and a brilliant decision to have Anderson Pac kind of hanging back, filling it out, but that was one of the things that made An Evening with Silk Sonic so successful was when they would trade off. This is an Anderson song. This is a Bruno song. And they they did what they did very, very well. Bruno's the tender guy. Pac is the one with a little bit more of a mischievous streak to him. And once again, they play their roles to perfection in this, supporting one another and and just taking us on a, on a ride on love's train. And I know what you're talking about. So at the risk of turning this into just like a gush session, I, I think it might be appropriate to leave it here, but God, please give us more Silk Sonic. So we'll leave it here. And uh, this is a reminder that you guys should tell us what you want us to review on the podcast. Tell us what you want us to react to in our reaction series. Make sure that you are following us on Instagram and subscribe to the channel. And you can always drop us an email at our hotline. I'll put all the socials here as I usually do. And yeah, thank you very much for joining me for a mini evening with Silk Sonic. And until next time.